applies to all of them. I would have said the same thing for Washington yesterday. There's no reason to allow any person who wants to commit violence to be anywhere within a mile of the White House or a mile of the Mall. Just close them down and say, no, we're not going to allow these kind of people to have the, to go out here and cause damage. And, you know, it's amazing, dude. I watched that, too, happen to be up, and that mayor with, uh, said, went out there totally unprepared. He also goes out of his way to think, says, yeah, it could be some left-wing groups, but it's a lot of white supremacist groups who have mixed in. I don't see any indication that they're white supremacist groups mixing in. This is an Antifa organization, it seems, that the first time we really saw it in a major way was Occupy Wall Street. It's the same mindset. Real quick, your comment? Well, yes, and they also were people who trashed Seattle years ago. And they, I mean, they've made a habit of this. One of the things I hope that the president's designation as a terrorist group will do is let's open up the funding. Who's paying for these people? I, I was appalled that 13 of, of Joe Biden's staff were donating money to bail people out in Minneapolis. Frankly, I was also appalled that they were being bailed out. They should stay in jail till this is over. Of course. All right, uh, Newt Gingrich, we thank you very much. Read his op-ed at foxnews.com. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.